I'm extremely happy for this feature match because we're going to get to watch whatever the hell Darkman All, aka Herman Hansen, is playing for his round post Soul Fusion against Kappa My Kappa. So this is another nice little take at what's kind of going on in the SCG right now. So a little Thunder guy here. If this card is a normal special, you send one Thunder monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's all you need to know about this bad boy. So I believe Herman is playing the new Thunder Dragon deck. Uh, you're going to see Thunder Dragons start off here with a very beautiful thing called the Gold Sarcophagus. Uh, don't you guys love when Konami comes up with degenerate archetypes uh, just within their own realm of things? Like, I love Gold Sark being broken every 200 years out here. So we are going to banish Bolt. Quick effect and discard this card add one bolt from your deck to the graveyard. This card is banished or sent to the graveyard. You can add one Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand, except for bolts. You can only use one bolt of Thunder Dragon per turn and only once per turn. Interesting little inclusion there. So Bolt's going to add Avion over here. Avion's gonna get to do some really cool stuff here in a second. Now we have to feed off with Solar. Solar is going to get Veilard, which is a really incredible sad day. Like how this guy's just a fucking arm to get a knight for dark monsters. Like or for thunder monsters. Like fucking value town. So what does Herman actually extend with his hand? Because I'm not too sure exactly what the Thunder Dragon deck does. So this allows him to add back bolt. Okay. Interesting. So do we have a Thunder Monster that only works off of one? Oh, Nope. Must be tribute summoned or special summoned by one non-fusion thunder monster. During a turn, a thunder monster's effect was activated from hand. Your opponent cannot add cards... Or, your opponent cannot add cards from either player's deck to the hand except by drawing them. This card be destroyed by battle crafting. Banish one thunder dragon monster for graveyard instead. Oh god, so you just shit out a 2600 and stare at your opponent and be like, Hope you can play the game on this hand. That's actually really dirty. Like, I don't know... We'll have to see what Kappa can do here. Uh, so we're going to scale the purple poison. Uh, we have, what is it, three preventative destruction measures uh, on this guy like to get over this. Like This is pretty good. I know we have two. Lord. God, this thing is such a beast. Especially if you like open up a super, like, more suboptimal hand. You just make this guy and go. Huh. This is a lot better than I remember this card being. So, doing just scale things over here. Huh. That's pretty good. Non-targeting spot removal answers this guy, though. Thank you, Ignister. Um, I think we're going to find ourselves back in the same situation next turn, though. Nope, just going to fail the Ignister. Oh, that's such a shitty place to be. Well, I mean, we got the Instant Fusion, which kind of gets us into Cameon Thunder. But we need a zone to do something, because we still got... Tall, dark, and ugly up here, just chilling, staring at our opponent, going, uh, feed me. Um, well, Herman, what do you do? Armageddon Knight out the egg. God, hello, egg. Oh, so we just get to revive. Beautiful. This deck is something else. So, we've got a fucking token over here. I like, uh, just so much value. Oh no. Kaminari, the summer vacation. Two Thunder Monsters. Once you turn a quick effect and discard one card and target one Thunder Monster in your graveyard, except the Link Monster. Special summon it to your zone. This card points to. Oh my god, they gave them recursion. Like like the the little guy in his leopard um or cheetah swimsuit. Uh just Thunder Dragon things happening over here actually. Alright, well we've got a Phoenix to spot removal over here. And we are still going to probably link out here and then discard the last card and revive the the super monster. Oh, hello, time pendulum graph. Oh no, not not our summer vacation guy. Whatever are we going to do? Oh, hello, Thunder Dragon Fusion. Fusion summon one Thunder Dragon monster from deck, but shuffling monsters in your possession listed on the card uh, into the deck. Ooh, that are also in the graveyard. Me likey. Hmm. Thunder Dragon Fusion. Shuffling three back. Ooh, now we're making the Super Thunder Dragon Monster. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, when a Thunder Monster effect is activated, you can destroy one card in the field. If this card be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish two cards from a graveyard instead. God, this thing's huge. This, this card's pretty bonkers, actually. This whole archetype's pretty good, actually. Just kind of looking at this right now. I definitely got to say, more impressed with the Thunder Dragon support once I actually see it working. Um, and the, the fusion card actually just brings it all together. Oh! Hey, we uh, top decked Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. I wonder what he is. Oh, that actually puts him back in the game. Damn. I actually forgot this card's really good. Paying <laughs> 500 to search for a fucking Dark Pendulum Monster is pretty good. Huh. So we just cl start climbing up here. Electromite. Go get him, Bolt. Yeah, literally, like, he just concedes there. Being able to just quick effect this thing on your opponent's turn while you have the Super Thunder Dragon on the field to destroy both, it, it's actually just unfair in, like, all rights. Like, I, I don't get what Konami was thinking when they designed this archetype. I get, like, you you got to power creep the current scale of things, and it's like, cool, we got to go back into the phase of playing the game on your opponent's turn. So, definitely did it. Let's see what Herman opens up for game... Two over here. 40. Ooh, what is this guy? Dino Wrestler Pranker. If your opponent knows more cards than you, you can swash them this card from hand. You can only swash them with one Dino Wrestler per turn. You can tribute one Dino Wrestler monster, then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. You can only use the effect of Dino Wrestler <laughs> Pranker Chops once per turn. Huh. Swash summoning this guy once per turn is pretty fucking good, actually. Well,. We're, we have to sit through the embodiment of the Pendulum player's turn as we set up a super large board and make an attempt to do things. Damn, they even got Star Pendulum Graph over there. It feels bad. Damn, this guy's got a pretty good board going off over here. Holy hell. All right. Hello, Odd Eyes. Perform Pal Synchron. Black Fang come into hand. Oh, he's playing this guy. Once per turn, when any player's monster declares an attack, you can negate that effect and destroy his cards. So that's the pendulum effect. If you pendulum summon level four, you can pendulum summon this face of card from your deck. Detach one material from this card, special summon one level seven or lower pendulum monster from your hand in defense position, but it has its effects negated. Hmm. And then this card's face up in your extra pendulum zone. Um, it goes to the pendulum zone. Huh. That's pretty fucking spicy, actually. Huh. I like the fact that you can re-pendulum summon this. For no fucking reason. Hello, Needle Fiber. Well, I mean, that's a pretty cute turn we got there. Fucking Dino Wrestler Prankatops over here. He's just being a guy. <laughs> Prankatops, go! Herman's not in a good position, though, like, at all. This board, yep. This might be able to put the nail in the coffin, actually, for Herman. Like, this card's really fucking good. I think we're going to have to go to game three here, unless Herman's got... Does this put him back in the game? Hmm. One light and one dark. Well, we are not anywhere near that right now. So, <laughs> another prank of tops. This card's so big. I mean, I guess you force the out here, but, like, it's not really looking good, unfortunately. Oh. Hello, egg. We still need... I, I guess Link Karibo puts the dark in the graveyard and we can produce Aeon over here. Um, I just don't know if Aeon puts us in the game. Like, I really like this card. This card has a lot more utility than I actually thought it did. Battle phase, kill the beast. Yeah. You want to try to trigger the... You want to get this off the board uh, to try to make your opponent do something. Time target Iris, target the Dino Wrestler. Cool, so this guy's a quick effect. Yeah, kill the beast. That's absolutely correct. So you get this off the field and you take care of the beast. Seems really good. At oh no, he kills the Link Karibo instead because it's not on the field anymore. Cool, so you just drop Aeon, right? This card's for the Sponsor Monster Bad Battle. You can banish one card from your graveyard, add one Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. Or do you just hold here and just pray that your opponent doesn't have something? <sighs> yeah, I guess you have to produce Aeon. Yeah. So we have Aeon on the field. 
now. Fucking Chaos Boss Monsters. Tagging out into Wonder Lad. Alright. Oh, nope. This is Shooting Riser Dragon. Oh, shit. Oh, Herman's getting boopity bopped over here. Like, getting the Thunder Dragon's pretty good. But, like... So, we can produce the Super Thunder Dragon um, just off of the egg and lock the opponent from searching. Um, but if he top decks really anything, I just... I kind of feel like Herman is just balls to the wall at this point. Like, I'm not exactly sure. Yep. Produce that because we did the Thunder Dragon this turn. Um, Super Bolt at least can get over this. But... Uh, I don't know. I have to see how this goes. Oh, we're ranking up into Super Thunder Dragon. Alright, cool. So here comes Super Thunder Dragon. <laughs> A Thunder Dragon Lord. <laughs> this is a quick effect, right? Yep. So we can quick effect pop on his opponent's turn uh, because of this, which actually should put him back in a position holding double hand traps. I don't actually think his opponent can really... Yeah, I don't think he can recover from this. Top deck scale, play scale. You top deck normal summon to search for scale. You get Valored, which solidifies him on an additional turn there. Uh, he has the boost to pop through the effect of this and give this an additional boost. Um, so... Herman should be holding the line here. Yep, top deck's... Oh, top deck Purple Poison's really good, actually. Cool, just attack it and then just make another one. Like, that's how this works, right? Like, <laughs> cool. Pop your Thunder Dragon on top deck the Fusion. I'm just really good. I mean, you can protect it if you really want to. Yeah. Huh. I double checking on confirmation of time pendulum graph. <laughs> well, he just let the purple poison die. Yeah, there's, uh, there's absolutely no reason to save this one. You can just fuse and make another. Like Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Thunder Dragon. And just shut another one. Ah, I love his opponent just passing. Ah, I'm actually surprised to see Herman playing this in his deck, but I guess it comes up uh, to some degree. Yay. It should be game. Honestly. Yep. That's game. Herman gets the cleanest 2-0 ever with Thunder Dragons. God, this deck looks spicy. Alright, guys. That's all I got for this video. Uh, look forward to more Soul Fusion stuff on this channel. Alright, guys. Peace out. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.